hey welcome back to the channel we are here again and I was gonna say um, the way you uh, you build one of these things is you you try and do a little bit every day and it's a lot easier when it's in your garage it's not quite as easy when when you have to travel to where your plane is um, but even if it's studying the next steps uh, that's the key to uh, uh, doing an efficient quick build is just stay at it and uh, stay focused on it. Um, last night I put the first coat of white. Um, my Hurricane has a, a white band back here by the tail which my tail number actually will go through um, just like they did on the on the real ones. Um, and so I'm gonna get another coat um, on this with my marking colors, I'm actually, instead of using a, a flat flat, I'm using a satin because I noticed that this satin in this particular brand is really close to the flat um, in the other brand. So they might have just a touch more sheen, but that's okay. And uh, I'm going to get this flipped over and we'll be able to, uh, to get uh, the other side sealed up. So since we got that side done. All right, and then the next thing we're gonna do um, while we're doing all that, we're gonna get the landing gear on. So I'm gonna work on, uh, work on getting the gear legs and the axle and all the tubes. I, I've decided that I'm, I'm like for just the main aluminum tubes, I'm just gonna leave those aluminum. Um, I want, I'm not gonna paint those. And I just wanted to paint the axle because it's steel and, it, and it'll just help it not to rust. So, um, so I'll get to work on that. And at the same time, we'll get the tail wheel, the uh, tail wheel assembly installed. And I've got other things here I can install as well. So when I can't paint because it's gotten a little too cool in here, I got other things I can do. So right now I'm gonna get another coat of white on that. And then we'll jump to getting that done right there. All right. I got uh, another coat of paint on, uh, on this and um, I was hoping I could get it covered in two, but it's just gonna take one more so. Um, got just like a little bit of a part that needs to be ironed down right there. Um, I was hoping to do it in two, but it's going to take another coat, so it's really not a problem. Um, I've got uh, I've got time to time to wait on that, so got plenty of other things to do for sure. Um, and what I'm going to start doing is I'm going to clear the holes here for the uh, for the hinges, and I'm going to get the hinges installed on the plane. And then once I have the hinges installed, then I can come back in, and um, I'm going to get the holes in the landing gear cleared, as well as the uh, holes down here. Um, so I'll get all that taken care of, and then. Uh, I'll be able to get the hinges on the plane and then we'll be able to get the gear legs on the plane and once we get those then we can jump to getting the uh, axle installed and once I get the gear legs cleared I'll install the aluminum brackets that go on those so um, yeah uh, before I do that actually uh, that's what I'm gonna do right now Stepper bit actually works pretty good for uh, clearing that out. Uh, I'm pretty impressed with that. Now I'm just going to run a uh, 3 3 16 bit through the hole just to make sure that the hole's nice and clear because I'm sure it's got some urethane on the inside.
All right, because of my um, extra piece of wood here that I had to add, um, I actually ended up having to get uh, some of these um, screws that are called out. Uh, let me see what they, they call out for a AN526-1032R20. Um, I actually had to get some a little bit longer for these uh, first first couple holes here. So uh, first two and I think the last two and then the middle two will be just the regular size that it calls out for the R20. Um, that, that fits fine. I didn't have enough threads uh, with these to, be, to go for all of them so I had to get some of those. Alright so I got my hinge here and uh, the screwdriver. Let's get this thing on here. On the inside, um, those all look like they're going to be pretty good. Middle two, those should be okay. Alright, so that's uh, that's on, and uh, now I will get the uh, left gear leg um, holes cleaned out so that we can uh, so we can get it attached and just kind of push them in place here. So, all right, let's do some more. All right, so I'm working on putting the uh, putting the brackets on here. I've got them marked, so this is the left aft bottom, this is the left front bottom right here. Um, and what I'm going to do is, uh, after I have them oriented, I'm going to actually take, uh, I'll start with the, the aft one, and I'll be able to get it. I'm just going to kind of clean off this lettering real quick. Now that we got that one cleaned, we'll go ahead and get it in place. And we've just got our AN bolts on uh, this side. I believe this is the direction we're bolting. Let me check the plan real quick just to make double sure. Yes, we are going from outside to inside. All right, AN3-13, uh, nut and a washer. So we'll get these in here. Sounds like a helicopter starting up. I found this uh, great little hammer at Antique Fair, um, and it just works perfect for just lightly tapping bolts through. Um, super cool little hammer. All right, let me get some washers on here. Get 
get some nuts on here. And later on, when we're working on the brakes, one of these uh, uh, will come out. Because on the inside, on the inside here, it'll get a, uh, it'll get that bracket uh, mounted. And I believe it's the top. The top hole is the one that comes. This one, maybe it's this one. I think it's the, maybe this one that comes out. I'm not sure. One of them comes out, but we'll get to that. All right. So I'm gonna need a wrench. Try to grab that. Yeah, we'll get these uh, tightened down, and once I get this. On here, then we can uh, we can get it bolted to the fuselage here. All right, so we got our bracket on there, right there. Our brackets, and there's two of them. Um, so that's where the uh, it gets mounted to the axle. Now we can actually get these bolts through, and they come from the inside out. So. So we're going to go like so. And we're going to hope if I recall, it's a good fit and we have plenty of uh, plenty of thread. I guess we'll see. I don't know. I am all of a sudden skeptical. We're gonna get our one to three threads, so. I am gonna say that we are not. So the 20s are not gonna work for this. Just put one more in for now and what that means is that we're gonna have to go we're gonna have to go buy some more and they're gonna have to be a little bit longer than 20s not as long as those other ones that I bought for in here and we're gonna need about uh, 6 12 uh, and I need to replace these two because I don't have the one thread I, I need on these two either. So, um, I need 6, 12, 16, about 16 or so. So it sounds like I'm going to make a run to aircraft spruce tomorrow. All right, so I got um, that gear leg on. And uh, that's, that's as much as I can do without the correct... Uh, 
correct screw and you can see I just don't have one thread coming out there so I'm gonna have to find a size that's just a little bit bigger than a 20 and I have the same situation in here uh, in these two center ones you can't really see those but uh, I don't have more than one thread I don't have at least one thread coming out there this one I do and um, I believe the I know the rule for an AN bolt is you have to have at least one thread, one to three, like that. Um, maximum of three because they want to make sure that the you have um, good grip. And if you have more than three, then you've probably used up the thread portion of the uh, bolt and you may not have necessary grip. These are threaded all the way, so um, that doesn't apply in that particular case. I'm not, I have all the grip I need. so. Uh, I'll double check that, but I believe that is not a uh, not an issue to use that type of screw in that location with that many threads sticking out. Um, I'm gonna I was gonna use a castle nut for this and then drill the shank, um, but I've decided not to. I'm using a different nut that I need to pick up, and uh, I my understanding from uh, uh, from team is that you. You pack this with uh, high temperature grease, and um, and then you put the uh, washer and nuts on there, and a little torque seal. So it's a good thing to a real easy thing to see and take a look at when you're uh, doing your pre-flight. So, and I got my white I got my white band painted um, on the back here, so that's all done, and. Uh, I painted the area here that I had to uh, I had to make that little repair to so that I would fill the gap. Uh, so that's taken care of as well. Um, I did get the second side coated um, here. So now the stab is ready to paint, which means we'll jump to the elevator and uh, or we'll probably jump to the vertical stab and get that covered and um, while we're painting this. So uh, yeah. Anyway, that's gonna be uh, that's gonna be it for tonight. And um, thanks for hanging out with me. It's uh, it's you know going well. I I uh, didn't expect this that I didn't have the right thing that I need, but I'll go get it. And uh, and then we'll keep we'll continue to uh, continue to plow forward with that. So all right. Um, hope everybody is well and healthy and I will catch you later.